Welcome back, everybody. This will be the final part of our getting Fallout 3 ready to play. Um, this part, we will discuss how to take all the mods that we have installed, and this will depend on what mods you installed and did not install, and make them all work so that the game will run and run flawlessly for us. Okay, let's begin. Um, first, uh, you'll need to download and install two uh, programs. One is Loot. Loot replaces Boss. Boss is what you use to sort the mods with. Loot replaces Boss. So if uh, a guy refers to sorting your mods by Boss, Boss is now Loot. So you'll download Loot and install it. And the other one is um, Fallout 3 Edit. Um, it's under the Nexus. Um, the link will be below the channel. And you will download it. You'll download the experimental thing. It says experimental. Download it um, and install it. Um, the way you install it is you go to your Fallout 3 folder. You will take the download of Fallout 3 Edit. You'll take this entire thing you see here and you'll just drag it into the folder with the exe file. And that's all you have to do and it's installed. And the loot has an installer, you'll install it and then you should see a loot button and then you, when you run it, you'll see this. And you have to, it might ask you where Fallout 3 is, tell it where it is and then ma make sure that you have Fallout 3 selected under the game option here. Um, there's a little option for a game, make sure you have Fallout 3 selected. Okay, first thing we need to do is open up our mod manager and look at the ESPs. Okay, so if you installed all the mods that I did, um, it sometimes leaves extra things that are installed but not turned on. So, alternate travel. I had turn, selected to turn it off, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. If you install, if you want the alternate travel, which is the, boat, the bike, leave it on. So I'm gonna delete that so I don't confuse it anymore. Um, optional restore tracers, I will delete that. I didn't want that installed. Um, the, the natural selection, I'm turning that off as well. I'm deleting that. Zones respawn, I'm deleting that as well. And Mart's, Mart's Mutant Mod and Project Beauty, um, I don't believe, I believe Blacken says to not install that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. Now, we have no unchecked um, things. So make sure that all the things that need to be turned on are clicked on if they're not clicked on already. That tells the game to use that file when they're selected on here. Um, now we're gonna do a very important thing. We're going to sort the mods. What that means is we're gonna take the mods and make sure that they load in the correct order. If sometimes the mods don't load correctly in the right order, they won't work or one mod will mess up the mod. Um, the way it works is Sky, uh, Fallout loads its files, then it loads the first mod, second mod, third mod, fourth mod, and each mod changes or adds something. And if you have the wrong order of things, if things can get messed up. So loot will sort them for us. Um, um, so we're gonna click sort plugins. It's going to start running its little magic. Now, if you've installed the mods I told you, um, you're going to have this problem. And you might have this problem um, if it says cyclic interaction detected. Um, you'll have to fix the problem. Um, there are two ways to fix this. One, you can just uninstall um, enhanced blood textures and then sort your mods and then install it afterwards and it'll put, put it in the right spot. Or or we can fix it ourselves. What's wrong is um, Skyrim music in the background. Sorry about that. Let's turn it down. Um, so what? This if you want to fix it so that doesn't happen again, um, go in your folder, and open up Fallout Three Edit that we did before. So open up Edit. You'll see all these things pop up. Right click and click select none. And the thing that's causing the problem, it's listed here in, it's listed right here. The thing that's causing the problem is Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition Morgor.esp. I should not right here. Yes, Fallout 3 Morgor.esp, this thing. So in order to fix it, I'm gonna find that file 
here. It should be near the top here. Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition dash more gore dash ESP. I'm going to check it and I'm going to click OK. Now the problem is this ESP is labeled as it's labeled as an ESM instead of, instead of an ESP. So that's the problem we need to fix. Now when I did that, it crashed because it's in the wrong order. So what I'm going to go ahead, ahead and do is to fix this, I'm going to go into Mod Manager. I'm going to open my Package Manager. I'm going to uninstall Enhanced Blood Textures by double clicking. And then I'm going to reinstall. As odd as it is, I'm going to click Yes to replace all. And now that will put it at the bottom of the list. And now, as if by magic, Fallout 3, Fallout, now it'll work. Select none, it should be at the bottom this time. Select Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition More Gorda ESP, click OK. And it now it'll magically work. I don't know why, but it does. And it has to do again with load order. It, because the way it is, it's loading incorrectly. Now, this is how you fix it. What you're going to do is at the bottom, Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition More Gorda ESP, you're going to click plus. Click on file header. You're going to over here where it says record flags. Record flags. You're going to. You are going to. Um, right click on it where it says ESM and click edit and click yes. You're going to uncheck ESM and then click OK. So again, you're going to. Right click on where it says record flat, right here it says ESM on the record flag. You're going to uncheck ESM, then click OK. Then you're going to exit entirely. It's going to ask you to save, and you click yes. And now, when you click sort plugins, it will work with no problems because it's no longer flat as an ESP, ESM. We're gonna check the butt. We're gonna. It's gonna ask you if this is this is okay. If you're not familiar with this, just go ahead and click apply, and it should it should do it correctly for you. You click apply, and now your mods are sorted. All right. And to double check. Um, open up your mod manager, and you can if you know what you're doing, just find check everything, make sure everything's working correctly, make sure everything's in the right order, and it should be. Um, now. There's one more thing we need to do. In order to make some of the mods work together that we um, did before, we're going to open up Fallout 3 Edit just like I had you do before. Now this time you're going to leave everything checked and you're going to click OK. And this is going to take a minute to run. Depending on your computer, it could take a while. Um, okay, apparently um, some of these are still out of order. so. Let's go back into, let's run loot again. And let's adjust the um, the things here. It should. Okay, apply again. Okay, let's make sure that it actually worked that time. For some reason, it's not sorting my mods. Well, I can manually fix this myself. So to fix this, I'm just going to drag Zelfa and move it up above there. And then it will work. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be doing that, but it did. Um, Blacken should be at the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and run that again. Run Fallout 3 Edit. Leave everything checked and click OK. Um, the ESP for um, the darkened interiors mod should load before the um, add-ons for it. That was what the problem was. Now it's going to take a while for this to run. Um, when it's done, it's going to say background loader finished down here on the bottom left. That's how you know when it's completely done. See there it says background loader finished. Now, in order to get all the mods to work together properly, we need to make a merged patch, and it's very simple. Once it's all done, you're going to right-click anywhere and click Other, Create Merged Patch, and just label it Merged Patch. Click OK, 
and this is going to make sure make a little patch that makes all the little changes that the, all the little individual mods do and puts them into a merge file. You're going to click OK. It's going to create your patch. And you're going to go ahead and exit. And then you're going to go back into Mod Manager. And your merge patch should load at the very bottom. You're going to go ahead and click Merge Patch to load it. And now all our mods are installed. We have our merge patch created and they should be sorted um, in the correct order. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure the game runs properly. How do you get Steam to launch the script extender? I get that question a lot. To launch the script extender, what you normally do is double click FOSE loader.exe. When Steam launches, it launches the Fallout launcher. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to copy the name and just put a space there and put one to rename it. Now you're going to take the FOSC loader, right click, click rename and paste. Now it says Fallout Launcher. Now to get the game to launch, all you have to do is close everything out. Go ahead and open up your Steam. You're going to go ahead and find your Fallout and click play and if it works correctly you won't see the launcher it'll launch the game directly if it launches the game directly then fallout script extender is loaded properly see it skipped the script it skipped the launcher so it's loading correctly if your game immediately crashes when you click lo load like that that means one of your one of the files you have loaded is missing a master file if you get a crash before the game loads up, that means one of your mods is missing a master file. That means a mod it relies on. So the best way to find out which one that is, is to disable all the mods and just have the, the five vanilla uh, add-ons here checked. And then enable the mods one by one until you figure out Enable enable one section of mods at a time until you until the game crashes again. And then when you find out what that mod is, find out what the problem is, and then fix it. So our game is now working. It, our game launched fine, as you can see. It booted up, so it means all our masters are there. Now we need to go into the game and just test it out, make sure it runs. So we're gonna click new. And then click yes. And if all is well, you'll be spit out the vagina of your mother as a baby. Um, after, you'll first you'll click past the uh, cutscene, of course. Opening cinematic, where it's click ex exit past it. Gonna take a minute. Unfortunately, you have to do this part every time until the alternate start mod uh, picks up. I'm a beautiful boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, James. We did it. A son. Our beautiful, beautiful son. son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. Once you select all the options here, it'll let you. The um, alternate start should kick in, where you can there, skip the Vault 101 if you've done daddy, it a million times already. Daddy, which is what I'm going to be doing in just a second. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about? A uh, player name is fine. That's a good name. Not really. Think? It's a pretty uncreative name. Perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene Doctor Lee, right there. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. I'll just do the default option, just because we're testing. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. Just takes another minute. It's kind of annoying having to do this every time you play the game. So the mod will kick in and just a second last to skip the entire Vault 101 experience. This is good your first couple of times, but 
After a while, you get tired of the tutorial. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move, move. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. And the mod should kick in right about now. There you go. If you want to play Vault 101, click Continue Dreaming. If you don't, click Wake Up. And you'll be teleported into this place. And here, instead of doing the vault, you can um, go ahead and make your own character as if you you can reselect your name, your race, your disposition. You can distribute your specials here, determine how many points you get. Um, go ahead and distribute your specials however you like. Everyone always pumps those two. Grab your bobblehead. You'll also want to uh, tag your proficiencies. Doesn't really matter. Um, and um, these are options for uh, Fallout Wonders Edition. And then you want to do your history. Uh, the history allows you to pick where you start in the game. Um, for testing purposes, we're going to do Vault Dweller since it's the exact same location as the uh, as the uh, base game. And we're going to go ahead and sleep. And we'll start right out right side of Vault 101. And then when you reach outside of Vault 101, that's when all your mods will start loading. Um, that's when they're scripted to load. It's, so you'll just have to stay here for a minute and wait for all your mods to load. And it's a good it's a good idea to test your mods before you start playing for real because if you discover a bug then you'll have to fix it later and it becomes a problem so as you sit here a bunch of menus will pop up at you um this is revamped leveling here is where you can tell the game how many point skill points you want to earn per level how many special you want to do how many perks per level um click right here um so at this rate, we'll earn one perk per, per one level and one special point per four levels. You can adjust this however you like. Um, I when I play, I do I don't like to get special points, so I disable that and just do. Uh, you can, I usually do uh, two perks uh, per level or two perks per or three perks for per two level where you get. One perk and then two, one and then two, one and then two. Just depends on what you like. Um, but you can customize this all that you like. And then once you have it set, then you're done uh, with that. And then you're just going to sit here and wait for all your mods to boot up, all of them to load. Some, some, your DLC quests will also load. It'll take a couple minutes. They'll ask you to, uh, they'll ask you to, uh, enter some options here and there. Um, Takes a good minute to two minutes, depending on how many mods you have, to know how uh, to know just how many uh, how long it'll take. Once the quest stop popping up and many items stop going in your inventory, then you'll know that you're all everything is loaded. And I'll show you how to customize uh, Fallout Wonders Edition and the other mods to your liking as well. In just a second. Just takes a second. Into the pit, that's DLC. I never liked how the DLC stuff starts as soon as you exit the vault. It would make more sense if you like wait till you hit a certain level to load, but I think they learned from their mistake in Skyrim. They have a minimum at level 10 for the DLC to start for each one of them. Okay, it's, it's a good idea to sit here and wait for everything to load. And then, as soon as everything's loaded, then save your game. I think everything is done loading. So, once all those go away. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Looks like everything loaded. Now, what I'm going to do is go into Items, Apparel, and Fallout Wonder Edition Control Panel is where you customize everything you possibly want to customize in Fallout Wonders Edition. Anything you want to turn off, you can turn off. Anything you want to turn on, you can turn on. You can make the game harder, easier. You can adjust everything to your to your heart's content in this menu. Then Mar Mardigan's Mutant Mod, you can adjust all the new monsters. You can turn monsters on, off. You can adjust the level, the spawn rates, how many ghouls there are, etc., etc. 
And I think that's the only um, the only two things to adjust right there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make sure our mods are working before we actually start playing. First thing you want to do is just walk around. Just make sure you don't crash instantly. Again, Fallout can crash randomly for no reason anyways without any mods installed. So if you crash right away, don't, don't panic. Just reload your save and just make sure it doesn't happen two times in a row. If it happens two times in a row, then uh, try going a different direction and then going around and see if it still does it. Seem pretty fine right now. No, no crashing. Nothing's going on. Everything's loading fine. The game's running. It runs at 60 frames a second on my screen. It's only capturing at 30 for the the video here. Usually, walking up to uh, Megaton is a good uh, test as well. A lot of stuff going on in this area. If you load uh, everything fine, seem pretty, seem okay. Seem pretty stable. You talk to people. Have yourself a nice Welcome, sir. Or talk to people. Make sure everything's working. Everything looks fine. All right. Um, one bug I was getting before is that my factions were messing up. So we're gonna go ahead and test that right now. We're gonna hit the Tilda key to open up the menu. Type TGM God Mode, and then TMM Space One. That shows all map markers on the map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the Super Duper Mart. We're going to test for one bug that I was getting before and see if it still happens. Hopefully it doesn't. If it doesn't, then we are good to go and we should be stable. Just want to walk around in God mode just to make sure that people... Make sure that their people are spawning correctly, that there are no... They're not attacking each other weirdly. They all have new weapons. They're not. There's no missing textures anywhere. Walk in the building, make sure that the building loads, make sure that... You don't see any weird, awkward behavior like missing. If you see purple um, items, that means there's missing textures. If you see giant exclamation points, you're missing meshes. If you're seeing um, any of that stuff, you want to um, reinstall whatever that is affecting that. Everything looks pretty good in here. The looks like the modding, the the uh, the lighting mod looks like it's working. Um, Looks like it's working fine. If the lighting mod doesn't seem like it's working all that well, which it seems like it's not working 100% in here, actually, no, it's working fine. Then you want to load the darkness mod at the bottom. It'll fix it for you. But everything looks okay. Nothing looks out of place or wrong. Creatures are behaving normally. Um, one, one other thing you want to test is uh, mutants. Another good command is kill all, one word. It'll kill everything on the screen so that way you can fast travel. And for right now, we're, we're only just we're just testing to make sure everything's working. We're not really playing, so it's perfectly fine. Just, walk, just jump around the map a little bit, go in different areas, make sure that everything is not crashing on you, make sure the new creatures are loading, that they look fine, there's no missing textures. And if everything looks fine and there's no missing stuff anywhere, then you are safe to start playing the game. Uh, for real, just, just create a new game and then... Uh, then continue. And again, if any of you are having problems, 90% of the problems can be fixed if you just re-download the mods because maybe something got corrupted or reinstall and make 100% sure that every file is exactly right, that everything is in its right spot. Because if you mess up one little thing, you can get weirdness in your game like giant exclamation points, purple textures, uh, missing menus, like if anything could go wrong. So just go ahead and double check. Um, but other than that, you should be fine. Um, I hope these videos helped you. Um, the same process works for any Bethesda game. Um, for Obsidian, Oblivion, Skyrim, like these these skills work for all of them. But you know, there's a little difference because you'll use Mod Organizer for Skyrim. Um, Oblivion, you'll have different kinds of mods to install. Um, but overall, the general process is the same for all of them. Again, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I may do more uh, guides later for Skyrim or Oblivion. Again, I'm Dan from Dan's Gaming. If you like the channel, don't forget to um, 
check out my live stream. I broadcast almost every day. Could be live right now. Follow me on Twitter. Um, my name Dan's, is Dan's Gaming on Twitter. Just Google it. Uh, everything will pop up. Feel free to tweet me if you have any questions. I'm not tech support, so if I don't reply, um, don't take it personally. Just Google is your friend. Try Googling first. If Google doesn't work for you, then ask me a question. All right, I am Dan, and I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.